guys, it's Kim. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Alexander Bracken's new novel, Wayfair. It comes out um, in a couple weeks, Tuesday, January 3rd of 2017. So, pretty exciting. All right, a little disclaimer. If you haven't read Passengers, this video has like minor passenger spoilers about the ending, so just FYI. All right, so my thoughts on this novel. Unfortunately, I did not like it as much as I was hoping that I would like it. I just didn't. It wasn't for me. That being said, I still think it was a good book. I think she did a good job putting it together. And if you particularly like really enjoyed Passengers, then I think you would like Wayfair. I gave Passengers like a 3.5 star review. So I don't really think now thinking about it was that surprising that I didn't particularly enjoy Wayfair all that much. But um, yeah, if you like Passengers, I do think you would like Wayfair. All right, so what did I like in particular about this book? Brecken, her writing style, she, she has a really good one. Like she can write. I have no like criticism over her writing. She's got that down. I just, probably, it was, the storyline is obviously a continu continuation of Passengers. They're still looking for the Astrolabe or the Astrolabe, whatever you say that, I don't know. They're still looking for that and there's a bunch of other stuff that happens in this one. So I liked some of the new characters that are, were introduced because this book introduces a lot of new characters that, that weren't in the first one. So I thought that was neat and I liked it has a lot of action parts in it, so I like that too. She doesn't like... Okay, so I had a hard time getting through the book. It took me a lot longer than I wanted it to, so... Usually I can knock out a book if it's taking me a while and a week. This one took me about a month. Month and a half. So, yeah, like, I just couldn't really get into it. And it's not really her fault that I couldn't get into this book. I just feel like this isn't my type of book, which it really isn't. Like, I'm not really into, like, the whole time travel thing. I don't know. I just don't really like that kind of stuff. But I decided that I was going to give this book, well, Passengers, a chance. And I did. And it wasn't bad, you know. I did, however, like, one thing that I didn't like about the first one is that I felt like it was too long. I felt like it dragged a little bit towards the end, and that kind of irritated me. And I do feel like the same thing kind of happens here. Like, there was a lot of stuff where I was like, I don't think that was necessary. Because it's 535 pages long and I was like why is it so long like I think that was another reason that I was like it was taking me so long to get through because I just, it's just the fact that it was so long like in my head I was like there's too much in here I can't do it but I did do it anyway so yeah like I said I liked I like her writing style um it's a continuation of the first book, like the plot is good, side characters are great, it's action-y. And then another thing that I like is the ending. Like the last 100 pages, I was like, okay, this is good stuff, I like it. But now on to what I didn't like. Okay, so like I said, I couldn't really get into it because I thought it was too long. And that's, I don't know, I just sometimes like books, when I see that they're so long, I'm just like, oh, I can't do this. And I don't know why, like, there's books that are, like, super long, and I'm, like, so into them, but this was just not one of them. And then there were some characters that are in this book that I was like, I just do not like you. So just like there were characters that I, like, absolutely love, there were some that I was just like, no, I don't like you. And then there's a lot of backstory in this book, because... Well, she introduces new characters and she introduces like all the backstory that comes with those new characters and like all these new family lines and all this stuff and i just wasn't into it i was like oh my god i don't want the history lesson which obviously you need it in order to understand the book but i just feel like it didn't need to be as long as it was and then lastly and this is something not just that applies to this book but like to other books obviously nick and edda are separated like they're each doing their own thing. They get set, I mean, if you've read Passengers, you know they get separate at the end. And so, in this book, they're separated, like, I think, like, longer than is necessary, and that really irritates me when that happens in books, because I like my characters to be together. So, that was just something that I didn't like. So, if that is something that bothers you as well, that might bother you, but I don't know. That's, um, that's just, like, a personal thing. I don't think... It would bother everybody. Anyway, like I said, if you enjoyed Passenger, I think you will like Wayfair. I just didn't, but I didn't particularly like 
love passenger, so there is that. Um, so all in all, I think I would give this one maybe three stars, 2.5 to three stars, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I know this is a highly anticipated book, so I'm pretty sure it's going to get good reviews, and I'm pretty sure everyone's going to love it, so I'm pretty, I'm probably just like the weird man out that, that, that didn't think it was the greatest thing ever, but um, anyways, those are just some of my personal thoughts and opinions on this particular book. So thank you for watching me ramble about it. Um, if you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.